The following is a short tutorial on how to put a hard copy of your calendar like this into D2L. So to do this, we create a separate widget for that. The separate widget is going to allow you to keep it at the top of your page so it doesn't get pushed down by your news. Although there is a calendar in D2L, some people like a really visual calendar such as this. And so I'm going to show you how to put this into D2L. Um, the calendar I have right here comes from a website that many teachers are using called teacherfiles.com. In this website, you can go in and click on whatever month you need. So I'm going to do October. You'll see that this calendar then populates up here and you can actually fill this in right in this box. So if you wanted to write down important days, maybe you have a PD day, maybe you have a class trip. This is a really um, nice looking calendar and it's quick to do. Um, the other way you can also do it is you can download it and if you download it you can open it in Adobe Acrobat. That will allow you to save it. If you do it like this you won't be able to save it and go back and edit it um, but it's really quick to do if you know exactly what you want. So here is the trick to creating it. One is we're going to use the snip tool. So the snip tool is right here. If you don't know where it is you can just search it in here and write snip. Um, when you find it, you know, I often like to pin it to my taskbar and that's why it's down here. So as soon as you find it, you're just going to go snipping tool and go new. Then you're going to go to the corner and you're going to open up and select that calendar. So now you're going to see that now I have a picture of my calendar and that's really what you want to put into D2L um, because then they won't have to click on it to open it. So I'm going to go file and then I'm going to go save as and I'm going to call this October right calendar so I'm gonna save this to my desktop just remember where you save it and now that this is saved to my desktop so in D2L save it to my desktop so now in D2L I'm going to go to a different class so I can show you how to put this in so I'm going to go into here and I'll select this one Remember, before you are able to add a widget, you have to be using a copy of the home page, and we showed you how to do that in previous tutorials. Um, but to add a widget, you're going to go to Edit Course and Widgets. Just remember, a widget is just a space on a web page, right? So we're going to create a space on a web page to put our calendars in. So I'm going to go to Widget. Remember what you call this. I'm going to call this class Calendar. And to add in the actual image of the calendar, you're going to go into the content tab and you'll see you have all the tools that you're used to and use. And the one we're going to use is insert image because that screenshot saved our calendar as an image. So I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to find it, my computer, upload it. And you're going to see there it is right there and then open it. Then you can just add it in. We have to click this as decorative or label it the alternate text. And you're just going to put this right in. Now I like to center things, so I'm going to drop that down and align center. And there's one more stage that you can do here that I think always looks a little bit better, is you can grab this corner and make it bigger. And I wouldn't go much bigger than 650, so we'll go about 650 here. And now that will kind of fill that space appropriately, and then click on Save and Close. Now sometimes when you go back to the desk your original home page you expect it to show up there um, but that's not the case it actually needs to be put on there because it doesn't know it when you want it up so what you do is you just scroll the bottom of your page and those three dots if you've made a copy of that home page you can have this option of edit the home page and edit the home page you're going to scroll down and you're going to select where you want to put it for now i'm just going to put it in here because it's easy to find and i'm going to say class calendar I'm going to click on the class calendar and I'm going to just slide this down just above my news. So it sits right above my news and hit save and close now. And when I save and close that and go back to my page, you're going to see that that calendar uh, is an, an image form right in my D2L page and it sits above my news and other widgets. And one thing to note is that remember you can collapse this widget. So if you don't want to see it or parents don't want to see it, they can just collapse it down. And when it's time to look at it, they can expand it. Okay, thank you for watching this short tutorial on how to take your hard copy of your calendar and put it into D2L.